August fishing can be tough, real tough, but there are four lures or presentations that I really gotta have tied on this time of year. Not only am I gonna show you the ones I like, but why I like them. First, I love to use a wacky rig on docks, and I know you may be thinking, holy cow, Steve, docks are pressured all summer long. Well, most anglers don't hit the full dock like they probably should. They'll hit those outside corners and those easy places, and the reason that I really like to hit these in August is because they produce shade 100% of the time, and not only shade up shallow, right, but one thing that we need to keep in mind is that they produce shade at a depth, especially if you have some clearer water. They can throw a shade pattern that goes way out in front of the dock when that sun is at a lower angle, and oftentimes those fish are completely overlooked. We'll have the boat sitting right over the top of them, and I like to have two wacky rig setups. I like to use a traditional wacky rig, you know, on a spinning rod is going to be something that I have, but I also prefer to have a wacky rig on a casting setup as well, like this one here, and I'll use a great big six inch stick worm here. And the reason I like to do that is I just feel more comfortable with my accuracy, that pinpoint accuracy with the bait cast setup. I know some of you are like pinpoint accurate with the spinning reel, that's not me. So I'm gonna have both of these setups available to me all the time. And that leads me right into my next one is I need to have some sort of big Texas rigged soft plastic, whether it's a great big worm, whether that's a craw, because I want to get the bottom part of that water column under those docks as well. Maybe I'm sit a dock is sitting over 20 feet of water and I want to get down there to that shadow that's being cast at that depth with a big Texas rig with you know a weight on there, quarter ounce up to maybe a half ounce is gonna get down there quicker than a wacky rig. And the other thing that big Texas rig lure is gonna do for me is provide that big meal. A lot of these better bass, they're not feeding all day long. And if they're actually gonna take the energy to chase something down to go after a meal, they want it to be a good meal. They don't get big by expending more energy than they take in. So that's why these big Texas rig baits, I believe this time of year in August, are gonna get me a better bite and I'm gonna have those rigged up with me as well. The next one is just one that is forgotten about. You know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, everybody was throwing this, and that is a Carolina rig. And I might have a worm on there. Here I've got a craw on here. But a Carolina rig is gonna do something for me in August that just a lot of other presentations don't do as successfully, and that is one, I can cover some water with it, but two, that presentation is still, you know, subtle. You just got that nice soft plastic back there presenting in more of a finesse style, a slower style, but yet I can make long casts, drag it across the point, along a ledge, you know, just find where some fish are sitting, because this time of year, I really, really want to either hit those super high percentage areas like those docks or cover some water and try to find them. And the old ball and chain, the Carolina rig, keeps that lure down there in the zone. And there's probably a good chance you're the only one going down the shoreline that's throwing it and it still catches a ton of fish. And the last lure presentation I'm going to have this time of year is a top water, a, a searching top water hit those early morning and late evening times. You know me, I like to fish in the middle of the day, but boy, this is the time of year. If you can get up extra early, if you can stay out there extra late and cover some water, just target those aggressive fish, get as many casts as you win and cover as much territory as you can. You can really have some great fishing and don't be afraid to really throw those walking baits up tight to the bank. I mean, within inches. I have caught and been with people that just catch really nice bass just inches from the shoreline because they're pinning those bait fish up there. And in August, depending on the part of the country you're in, you're gonna start to see more of this. So in those early times, low light periods, late times, be moving that top water along, get down that bank and pick off some of those aggressive fish. And hey, if you would like to watch a video that really explains some factors that will force bass shallow 
all summer long and especially coming into the late summer and early fall go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers